Hey, you guys. How are you? God bless you. It's Pastor Tony. I pray you're doing well. Um, just trying something different here on my new computer. I'm not sure if I like this graphic or even if it will show up, but we'll, we shall see. Anyway, uh, I put out a small video last night and uh, basically it was just about, you know, I, I feel like I'm I'm, I'm being told to rest right now, you know, just rest in the Lord. You know, he, I'm not really getting any any kind of visions or um, dreams, um, any urgency in my spirit to to say a certain thing or put out a certain lesson or anything like that. And I uh, I asked for comments and I got a lot of comments back saying that a lot of folks are feeling that same way, you know, just just resting, resting in the Lord. Hold on a second. Let me, I'm going to try to back this up here. Hold on. Oh, 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 there we go. I don't know. I'm just fooling around anyway. Um, so I woke up this morning and the Holy spirit put on me to put out a small lesson on rest, the word rest and what it is to rest and why we should rest. You know, the Lord, you know, sometimes we feel like we've just got to go out there and we've just got to do more for the Lord and, and stay busy and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the Lord really, he wants more of our heart, more of us, more than anything else, more than, you know, you know, like the Bible says, you know, many, and for me, it's the scariest verse in the Bible. Um, you know, Jesus said on that day, many will say to him, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And and cast out demons, and, and we did all this stuff. And the Lord's like, I never knew you. You know, what he means by that is, I never had a relationship with you. You know, it's good that you went out and you did all this stuff, but all that is works. And the Bible is very clear, Ephesians 2, chapter 8 through 9. It is not by works, but by grace we are saved through Jesus. You know, it's all about the Lord's grace. And I pray every day, I pray, Lord, give me your uh, your grace and your peace and love and mercy and your gifts for this day. Because, you know, the, the, the gifts and the grace and stuff we're given today is not meant for tomorrow. It's meant for today. So um, now, of course, we will receive gi uh, 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 gifts at the Bema Seat Judgment from all the works we did. But you are not saved by works. You are saved by grace. Uh, in Jesus, in faith through Jesus Christ. So anyway, we, we must sometimes have to tell ourselves we have to rest, you know, and I'm going to go through some of my notes here. And, um, you know, the word rest is Strong's Hebrew, uh, Strong's Hebrew 5117, uh, which means to rest. And the word is nuach, N-U-A-C-H, nuach. And that means to rest, Strong's 5117. Now, we have to remember that the Lord rested on the seventh day. So he gave us an example. You know, that's why we can't, you know, we, we were not designed to work every single day of the week all the time. It's overwhelming for us. You know, so the Lord gave us a clear example and a path of what we should do. We should rest. You know, the Lord rested on the seventh day. This is Genesis uh, chapter 2, verse 2. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creation he had done. And it was good. Uh, we have to remember that the tribes of Israel also enjoyed God's gift of rest. It is a gift. When they settled in the promised land, which flowed with milk and honey, and that's found in Joshua chapter 1, 13 to 15, and chapter 23, verse 1. The um, probably my favorite verse on rest, of course, Matthew 11, chapter 28 to uh, no, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. And I'm paraphrasing here, you know, come to me and I will give you rest and you will find rest in your souls. You know, so we are commanded to rest. And, and I believe for myself and a lot of others that, that left messages, um, Hold on. Let me get this out. Those those bouncing stars are kind of bugging me. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, oh, did you see my shirt? Upon this rock. Matthew 16, 18. Boom. Of course, 
course, I got my cross right there for the big guy. Um, so we are commanded to rest. So don't feel guilty like I kind of did yesterday. You know, I'm like, Lord, I'm not, I'm not getting anything. You know, I, I feel like I'm just in, in standstill mode right now. I'm on standby, you know, and, and with prayer and comments from brothers and sisters, you know, they're feeling the same thing. It, this could be the calm before the storm. We know we're in the season. We know the rapture is going to happen soon. We don't know when, but it is going to happen soon. So maybe right now the Lord he just wants us to rest. You know, we've we've done the work we've uh, been asked and required to do. Uh, we've ran the race. And so let's just rest a little bit, you know. Um, let me get into some of this here. Let's see. Uh, in Revelation chapter 14, 13 to 4, verse 13 to 14, um, the heavenly voice speaks of the blessedness of those who die in the Lord, and the Spirit replies, quote, they will rest from their labor, for their deeds will follow them. Now here, a different dimension of the meaning of the word rest is being pointed to 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 us and the rest is not inactivity normally i mean not necessarily rest it can be inactivity but it can also be uh, a, a certainty and a freedom from all the burdens of the flesh and of the present evil age you know so also in isaiah chapter 11 verse uh, 2 Finally, uh, we note that as the Spirit of the Lord rests on the Messiah, so in the New Covenant, quote unquote, uh, if you Christian believers are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed for the Spirit of glory and of God rests on you. That's 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14. So, this is just a super quick lesson on on rest, and I was going to go into it more. I am missing my well. I as a lot of you know, I just moved from Miami uh, back to San Diego, and I shipped all my stuff. Anyway, one particular box didn't make it, and in that box is my Strong's Concordance. Uh, so I can't look up um, the word rest and find all of the references that it pertains to in the Bible. I'm sure there are many, many, many others that I've missed here. Um, let's see. Let me go to, oh, hope you're still there. Uh, sorry about that. I, don't, I, I just switched from one screen to another, and I don't know if it blocked. So if it blocked me, I'm sorry about that. Um, let's see what the do, 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 do. What does the Bible say about rest and relaxation? Right now I'm on gotquestions.org. Fantastic website. If you have any questions, uh, and I'm not end endorsing a particular website or, or book or anything like that, um, check that out. It, it's a great resource. It's all biblical and scriptural. They offer all that to that. Let me see if I can scoot this over here. Sorry about that. Um, rest is defined as peace, ease, or refreshment. Um, oh, and also, uh, you know, you, you had to work uh, for six days uh, to get to the Sabbath. The land also needed rest. You know, as, as it's said in Leviticus uh, chapter 25, verse 4, and um, verse 8 to 12, you know, not only were we supposed to rest, the land gets its rest also. You know, if you look through Leviticus, it gives great examples of, of, of how many years you were to plow and sow the fields. And then, and then it got a year of rest. So not only did the Lord command and s commands us to rest, but he also says the land which is also his creation, must rest. Um, you know, that's why in the Jubilee year, which we are right now, you know, uh, 40, for 49 years, you could, um, hold on, am I getting my, my two things mixed up? 
Never mind. I don't want to go there. I, I don't have my, my, my scripture pulled up. I don't want to go there. Let's, let's also, I'm sorry about this, this video. It's little, maybe it's a little choppy, not as smooth as I would like it to be, but, um, I wanted to put this out. The Lord put it on my heart to, to give a small lesson on rest because, um, I, I feel that many of us sometimes feel guilty for resting. And I know I was, and I was refreshed both, uh, mentally and, and physically to, to just rest right now and rest in the peace of Jesus. Now, for the Christian, the ultimate rest is found in Christ, of course. Um, I spoke about Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Um, it, is in, it is only in Jesus that we can find complete rest from the cares of the world. Um, Jesus is our Sabbath rest. Let's see. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be all that. Um, so, so family, I guess I just really wanted to come on here after I put that video out yesterday, and you know, I, I said, hey, I feel like I'm going. I'm in a I'm in a season of rest right now. You know, there's not a lot happening, and and I asked for others to just let me know if you feel the same way, and a lot of people came back and said, yeah, I'm feeling the same way, brother Tony. So um, maybe the Lord has us just right now in a season of rest before the rapture. Isn't that great? Um, I do feel like it's the calm before the storm right now. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think. Leave comments. Um, I, have, I have found the last couple days that, um, hold on a second. Let's get a sip of coffee here. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, I love my coffee. Anyway, um, the trolls are on me again. <laughs> People want to come on my channel and they want to leave uh, trolling comments. Uh, the atheists want to leave comments. And, and lately, what I've been getting a lot lately are the people, the post-tribbers, they want to come on my channel and, and leave their comments. Now, you know I'm all about the pre-trib. Um, th those people that don't believe in the pre-trib and their post-trib, I have found they're full of pride. Most of them feel like they have to go through the tribulation, like they have to prove themselves to the Lord. You know, some of them actually believe they're, they're one of the 144,000. Um, and I put out a video on that and said, Hey, if you're not male, a male Jewish virgin, you're not one of the 144,000, so so get off your little spiritual high horse there and and um, come back to planet Earth. Get out there and make disciples of men. That's what the Lord would want you to do right now. Um, so if if you're going to come on here, you post trippers, um, I'm probably going to delete your comments only because and and not that I don't enjoy a vigorous conversation, you know, a back and forth, but we don't have a lot of time left and I won't have somebody coming on here trying to put doubt in a brother or sister's mind, trying to divide the saints, especially those babes in Christ. You know, I, I have read the Bible many times. I think now I'm on my 12th time or 13th time and I can assure you the rapture is pre-trib. Okay. I can give you 150 different verses in the Bible that prove the pre-trib. And if you want those, I can, I can send you uh, an email and, and I can, I can uh, copy and paste all 150 of those Bible verses and send to you. Especially if you just want it for your personal reference. Maybe to witness to some of those of those people that you know that are post trib. Um, anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here. Uh, I'm just I'm just letting you know that the, the trolls have found me again and they're leaving you know comments and I delete them and block them with a quickness. And and so I'm not going to handle people coming onto the channel and trying to divide the saints and and you know the only verse. The post trippers have is is, you know, immediately after the tribulation, you know, you will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds and so. Okay, that's when you see him. That's the second coming. 
Okay, when the rapture happens, you won't see Jesus. It'll be like, you hear the trumpet, the dead in Christ rise first, then those of us who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds and shall remain and be with them forever. Amen. So when they when people bring out Matthew uh, 24, 36, and immediately after the tribulation, that's all they're getting. They're saying after the tribulation, such and such happens. And that's true. Immediately after the tribulation, the second coming happens. Anyway, I'm, I'm ranting and rambling there, and I'm kind of enjoying these cool little stars that are bouncing around. I know it's probably going to... Oh! <laughs> going to... Oh! Going to bug some people, but I'm just messing around here. Anyway, love you guys, family. Um, just trying to keep it fresh and light here. And leave comments. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to um, make a small video on rest. So if you're in a season of rest right now, don't feel guilty. Enjoy it. Rest in the Lord. All right? I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Holy Spirit loves you. And I just pray that the peace, love, and grace of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus, watches over you always. God bless you. Have a great day. And um, I guess that's it. Leave comments. Be nice. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.